Today, we are going to discuss the basics of translation using Rian. To start, you must create a new project which helps you to organize your work. Log in with your ID and the password. Rian opens out the window of Quick Translate. As the name suggests, this feature is particularly helpful when you don't have the time and necessity to create a translation project. This feature instantly translates your file to the desired language using a translation engine and preserves the layout of your document format. Go to the Projects tab to access your current projects or to start with a new project. This page gives you all the details about your projects like the progress, the file count, total number of characters in the project, the translation language fair, the due date, etc. These are particularly helpful in effective project management. To generate a report on the project, select the export to excel option. So let's have a look at the files that we are going to translate. But if you are a new user, this page will be empty. Let's begin by creating a new project by selecting the new project. Provide an appropriate name to your project, the source language and the target language. You can also select multiple target languages. Enter project details like the due date, which is not mandatory, but this helps you to keep an eye on your deadline. Also specify the domain of your project. Fuzzy Logic is a feature wherein your earlier translations from your user memory are matched according to the set percentage and are called during translation in the editor's window. Set the threshold above 70, the range being 70 to 100 percent. Any project specific notes can be mentioned here. Rian gives you access to multiple machine translation engines. This is particularly useful when you don't find any suggestions from your memory. Choose either one or all of them. Apply them selectively for suggestions or for translating a file. To do manual translations, you have an option to entirely omit the machine translation engine. Now comes the crucial part, that is the source file. Click on choose files and select the relevant file. Attach any project or client specific glossaries and term bases here. Upload them in the same manner as the source files. There is a provision under which you can add external dictionaries, glossaries, or term bases to your current user memory based on the domain. This will eventually add to your speed, accuracy, and your turnaround time. Click on Create button. Now all the source and glossary files will be incorporated in the project. The newly created project is opened along with all the relevant details regarding each file with the character count, repetitions, due dates, etc. Every document is scanned for repetitive segments or phrases and the percentage is displayed in the file details. 